Hi friends, we are here for another Workbook Wednesday and today we're going to draw a gnome. Gnomes have been so popular lately, like crazy popular, um, so I figured it was about time that we draw one together. So this is our workbook, um, super easy to follow, and we're just going to go through it together. The very first step is we're going to learn um, our, well, the very first thing we're going to do is learn our basic shapes. So that's going to be four shapes and then we can put it all together and add the finishing details. So for the nose, we are going to draw an oval. Super easy. You just go around and if you're on the iPad, you can hold it and it'll make the perfect oval shape. The next step is to learn how to draw the beard. The beard is pretty much an upside down teardrop, but it's got these little notches in it that look like hair. So basically, imagine that you have that shape and what we're gonna do is draw right over that. So you're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up, and then come down to a point at the bottom and then go down, up, down, up, down, up until it comes back up to where you started. So the one that I've drawn um, for you to trace and practice on is a little bit fuller, but it's the same, same idea. And what we're gonna do is just trace over that together. So it's these curved lines down and then back up then down and back up to create those points. So you just go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Switch directions, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Super easy once you get the hang of it. I know that it looks like a funky shape, but it's really not that difficult. The hat is going to be basically a triangle with some lumps on it. So we're going to just do these little arches together. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to come up to the top and make that point. Come down and do one, two, three, four, down. The last little detail is going to be the pom-pom and I just do four little curves almost like a little clover or a little flower. So it's the same curves as from the hat. You're just connecting them and moving as if you're going around a circle. So once we put those together we're going to have oops, a nose which is that oval, a beard which is down, up, 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 down, up. Our hat, which is one, two, three, four curves, a point off to the side, four curves back down. And our little pom-pom, which is four little arches that connect. So, now what we have is everything except the arms and the legs. And these are the easiest things. The arms, you're just gonna do a line down and a hand, which is just a circle. And the legs are a curve with this little arch shape to make the shoe. So this is the same curve that we use in the hat and the beard. And this is an arc. It's almost like a pizza slice, but the top half is rounded and the bottom is going to be straight. So we come over here, do down for the arm and a circle. You see how it connects to the beard, so you only need that one line. Repeat on the other side, down and a circle. And if you're in the iPad, you can use those shape tools to make it perfect. Then we're gonna do an arch for a leg and this angle. And you see both parts connect to the beard. So you don't have to do the other side. And then look at the gnome we just drew. He's a little bit wonky because he's kind of on an angle here, but using those 
different elements. You can build any sort of really cute, funky gnome. You can change the hat out for something different. You can add different shoes. You can add other details. You could give him the Santa hat look if you wanted to do that. And then this could be a really fun little Santa gnome. And then he could have Santa pants as well. Um, or we can do, instead of this hat entirely, you can do, um, let's see, he could have a round hat that has wolf ears on it and a, like a bell on the top. He could have a pointed elf hat with elf ears if you're doing Christmas projects. He could have this same hat, but then have reindeer antlers coming off of it. So once you have the basic elements of your gnome, you just go in, add details the way you want to, and then you can build whatever gnomes um, your heart desires. So you could have little elf shoes that have bells on the top. Um, the, the possibilities are unlimited, but these are the elements that you need to draw a cute little gnome. Good luck.